Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, nice to have you. Today I'll be reviewing the new e.l.f. Hydrating CC Cream. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts, please keep on watching. Now I got this a few days in the mail. I had ordered like a week ago and it came in the mail yesterday. I got two shades, um, 540 and where is the shade number? Deep 530W which has warm olive undertones and deep 540 and which has neutral warm undertones some of us are already very familiar with the old cream the same camo cc cream this one is full coverage like the new one and it has a natural finish now, i already tried this one and i like it i really like the finish of this product even though the color seemed a little bit off I mean, it wasn't too bad. I was able to make it work. I have this one in the shade 540N as well. Looking at the models online and looking at the way the shades looked online, it's not advisable to do that all the time though. Sometimes it actually is spot on, you know, but sometimes the shades look dark online or look light online and when you buy them, look just totally different. But I decided to go with 530. It looked a little bit darker online than the 540N, but I just said by that one to see if to match me better. So today I'm going to be swatching the two new shades I bought alongside the old one. But before I do that, I'm going to read about the CC cream on Alta's website. So the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream comes in 30 shades. It has SPF 30, it is vegan and cruelty free. It's infused with vitamin B5 plus tremola mushroom, hyaluronic acid and broad spectrum SPF 30 to help protect skin from the sun. It's a full coverage color correcting foundation which hydrates skin for a dewy finish. It helps plump skin's appearance. It's great for dry, oily, and combination skin. Elf is Leaping Bonnie certified. So this is what the product looks like. As you can see, Deep 540 looks neutral, and Deep 530 looks like it has a little bit of red undertone in it. It has a thick consistency. As you can see, it's not moving at all on my hand. Now this is a shade 530 and 540. Now this is 540 in the new Hydrating CC Cream. 530 in the new hydrating CC cream and 540 in the old CC cream. It seems to me that the shade 540 in the new hydrating cream is just slightly darker than the one in the old CC cream. The undertones are spot on, they're the same undertones, neutral, but this one seems like it's a little bit lighter than this one. Now this one obviously has a red undertone as you can see, so there's no use even trying this one out. Instructions for how to use prep skin with elf's power grip primer or your favorite elf primer apply one to two pumps of the cc cream to clean skin using the complexion dual brush wear as a moisturizer or full coverage foundation depending on your needs i'm going to apply the elf power grip primer with four percent niacinamide Before applying the primer, I had used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I have in mini size. I use this as my moisturizer. Now I'll go ahead and apply the CC Cream in the shade Deep 540N. That was one pump. Let me just start with a little, so I'll take some more off. Has a very white cast the other one has something similar to this but when i blended it out it was not so bad let me try and blend it though and it feels lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel thick or heavy it feels lightweight it doesn't feel like i have anything on my skin and the shade nah. this one also has SPF 30 some people attribute the white cast in certain CC creams to the SPF content or ingredient it doesn't have a smell no no smell whatsoever okay I think I should try the other shade on my on one side 
now this has some good coverage but i can also see my hyperpigmented area here it did make a good effort in covering it so guys this is the cc cream on the side of my face and here i do have nothing it's not that the shade is too light for me it's just that that there is something in it that's making it look off so i'm going to go ahead and apply the other shade i didn't want to use that shade but i want to see whether it's going to do the same thing or it's going to look better So I'm done applying the two shades on both sides of my face. This is the shade 540N and the shade 530W. I like the shade 530W better than 540N. I thought I was going to like 540N better, but I think it's looking very ashy. 530 doesn't, it does have that um, ashy grayish tint but it's not as much as it is in 540 but the application was smooth it wasn't hard to apply at all the foundation doesn't feel heavy even though it is thick it feels very light on the skin it has no smell as well no obvious smell and it applied easily the coverage is full it is indeed full and it does have a natural finish I use just one one pump for both sides of my face so that's like basically a medium medium coverage I got so it still looks like I have a natural finished product on it feels hydrated I have a dewy glowy look on my face another elf product that I just launched is the elf camo liquid blush I got one shade this color is coming in hot pink <laughs> which is why I have one pink eyeshadow to go with the blush so this is what it looks like Elf Cosmetics Pigment Packed Camel Liquid Blush gives cheeks a long lasting dewy flush that's flattering as elf. This liquid blush is lightweight and effortlessly blends out to a soft finish while the rounded groove applicator applies the perfect amount of blush every time. Dab one to two dots onto cheeks with the applicator and blend with the elf liquid brush. So this is what it looks like and this is the applicator. Uh, ooh, beautiful pigment. I did what I did because it has a lot of pigment says it's highly pigmented so one or two drops would have been too much beautiful beautiful color I think it's blending in with my bronzer and it's making it a little bit dark and it dries down quickly so this is what the blush looks like Okay guys, this is my final look with the e.l.f. Hydrating CC Cream and the rest of my complexion product. For concealer, I use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer in Matte Finish. This is in the shade Deep Chestnut. For on the eye setting powder, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in the shade Deep Peach. For all the face powder, I used my Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Nutmeg. Then for bronzer, I used the Benefit Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted. For highlighter, I used the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade Inspiration. And I used that in the inner corner of my eye as well. For my eyeshadow, I used this palette, the Eye Seek. I'll make it easy and possible for the five colors eyeshadow palette. I used this pink. And then this other, it's like a deeper pink, shade of pink. Then for lipstick, I use the NYX Lingerie XXL Lip Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade It's Hotter. This is what it looks like. So this is how the makeup turned out. 
after applying the rest of my makeup with the CC cream I think everything turned out really nicely now for the CC cream besides me not liking one of the shades I got I thought it was it was just an okay product to me during application and after application of the CC cream I didn't feel anything it felt very lightweight on my skin Elf says it's a full coverage product which is true I mean I applied just one pump each on on both sides of my face which was able to give me a medium coverage so if I probably had gone ahead to apply more I would have been able to achieve a full coverage funny that the formula is a thick one and you expect it to feel a bit heavy on the skin but it did not the only issue I have with this product for now is that I don't like that ashy tint whatever it is to put in the product that is making it look that way on brown skin I, I don't like it at all the shade 530 was a better option you know even though you still had somewhat of that I'll call it a tint or whatever that is I wish you didn't have it all together after applying it it gave me a glowy dewy finish but not excessively dewy it was just the right amount so this was the side I applied the shade 540N and here I applied 530W so which shade do you think matches me best now I'd like to do a wear test the time now is 1 38 p.m. I'm gonna go about my day come right back show you how it looks and give you my final thoughts so don't go anywhere so the time now is 7 47 p.m. and this is how I look after about six hours of year I do have oil around my t-zone which is always expected when you wear a complexion products like foundation now the weather here has been cold all day in the morning it was like 19 degrees now it's about 30 degrees I did go out but just briefly to pick up my kids and then when I came back home I didn't do much just slept off I slept off for like about an hour I think the, the CC cream has held up pretty pretty well nothing is separating nothing is breaking out the CC cream did enhance certain texture I have some texture around my mouth area around the side here now it did enhance the area it did not smoothen or make it look flawless now when you apply a complexion product you would expect it to go on smoothly and end up looking flawless on your skin hopefully it looks flawless I can say this is just an average okay product for me I haven't used a lot of CC creams the only CC cream I can compare this to is the the older elf camel CC cream which I like and the it cosmetics CC plus color correcting anti-aging hydrating serum I have this in mini size I also have their skin but better CC plus nude glow this is in full size SPF 40 this one has SPF 50 so I have used both of this now this one is a favorite I prefer this one to this one I like both of them but I use I reach for this one very easily because it goes on very beautifully on my skin sometimes when I use it it does cling to certain areas of my face but it's not so bad I think depending on the skincare you use or the primer you use with this product if you use um, a primer it works with it goes on very flawlessly and comparing this to for now I would say I, I still prefer the old and lot of people complain that this one was matte for them I have normal to dry skin I didn't experience that I didn't experience it feel matte or drying for me maybe the skincare routine I used before applying it was what made it feel you know comfortable but I've used this about three times and I really like the product both shades the 540N they're very similar but somehow this one worked better I didn't feel as uncomfortable with this shade in 540N as I felt with the new one both of them have the same undertones but this one seemed to be more appear more ashy than this one now one of the claims of this is that it gives a natural finish which is spot on this one claims to give a dewy finish it did give me a glowy dewy finish but not as dewy as I expected it to be it was comfortable on my skin I didn't feel any discomfort whatsoever but overall I thought it held up pretty well the product has a good rearing power you know a good staying power you can see the oils that I have is just coming in which is not so bad especially for a hydrating product so I don't think it oxidized now I'm going to apply some more powder around my t-zone area
so this is how it looks after applying some powder to it now the blush also has good stain power as you can see I haven't, I haven't retouched the blush it's still you know looking really good and I really like it I'm gonna try this again I might like it but for now I'm still on the fence but do I recommend the product I do recommend it for its skin loving ingredients and skin caring benefits so this is where I end my video for today if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section if this is your first time on my channel I hope you found my video informative Please don't forget to subscribe to my returning subscribers thank you guys for coming back don't forget to like and leave a comment as well until my next video have a blessed night and stay safe